Look how red my face is, very much caught the sun. It's a beautiful night here at the farm where we keep the Herefords. And it's a very special day because today we've had our first Hereford calf for 2020. A little bit of hope and happiness amidst all the negative stuff that's going on at the minute. Now, I've just come to the farm. My dad found the calf this morning. It's a little girl, which is just brilliant because we really need some, some females coming into the herd. And I've come tonight to put the ear tags in the calf. Now, ear tags are vitally important. Not only are they a legal requirement, but it's imperative that you get them in before the calf gets away from you. And usually the first couple of days, while the calf's sort of a little bit sort of timid and not knowing, not knowing what's going on is the best time to get the ear tags in. But I've got to find it. My mum has just walked over here. She's looking at me now and I can just see flickering. Oh, there it is. Ah! I still get just as excited doing this as I did when I was a little lad. So here we go. I don't know if you can see just in the... Uh, the verge of the field there, there's a little Hereford calf, but that is the best way to find your calves. Just watch the mothers and see where they go. So ear tags are vitally important because they're a legal requirement. You've got to put uh, two ear tags into your all bovine animals, so all cattle, uh, whether they're male or female. It's nothing cruel, it's nothing about ear piercing or anything like that. Uh, each of the tags has got a number on, and you can see this number on here, 700036. That will be the number that this calf will keep with it for the rest of her life. And that number will go on the calf's passport, and the passport will stay with the calf all its life, wherever she moves to, whichever show she goes to, whichever farm she moves to, she'll have her ear tag and her passport. They will stay with her. And it's all to do with traceability. Now, back in 2001, when the foot and mouth outbreak uh, struck, there wasn't a huge amount of traceability going on and the government said, right, we need to work this out and we need to know exactly where every single bovine is throughout the country, where she's moved to, where she's moved from, and it's all called traceability. And those ear tags and passports are vital for that to work. So it's a legal requirement. It doesn't hurt them at all. They'll be absolutely fine. Um, but we'll just pop these ear tags into a little calf now and hope mum's all right. Sometimes it can be a bit protective and I'm on my own as well. <laughs> That's gone really well, both tags into the ears of the calf. It was absolutely fine, didn't struggle at all. Mum was fine, so yeah, great success story. So uh, that's all gone really well. Vitally important to get as much iodine onto the calf's navel as possible. That is an open cavity there that uh, is susceptible to infections. And if any bacteria or anything was to get inside that navel, it would make the calf, the calf very poorly. There's an infection called jointil, which is a is basically transmitted through the navel if there's dirt or anything gets up there. So iodine or any sort of um, antiseptic spray is good. Just cover that navel in it and it'll just protect the calf until it dries up naturally on its own. So yeah, that's gone really well. See the girls are here.
just come outside to wash down because that was really tough. So um, I'm out of breath. <laughs> um, the heifer was calving, but the calf uh, had a leg back. So when a calf is born, it should come out like Superman, like that. Um, but it had a, a leg back. So I had to intervene and, and push the whole calf back into the mum, bring both front feet round. Uh, and the calf is quite big as well. So didn't really help things. She was fully dilated and, and ready to go. Um, but we had to just assist because I don't think she would have had that calf on her own. Um, such a rewarding thing, but uh, it just worries me slightly that if we hadn't been around to, to help a calf that she probably would have had a dead calf and it would have been a, a completely different story. But it's alive, it's a little bull calf. It's not a girl, but a boy is all right. And uh, let's go and see her bonding with him. So we've just given the calf some colostrum my little helper here and it's vital to get that colostrum into that calf so we've actually stomach tubed the calf to make sure we know how much milk it's had um, its mum isn't overly keen on it at the minute but we're going to leave them overnight and see how they get on i'll come back later and have a look as well so you could do you want to come as well um, but we know the calf has had over two liters of colostrum now so it's just a waiting game fingers crossed its mum will, will take to it it's all right isn't it you're very happy. But it's a lovely calf, lovely bull calf. The colostrum will do its job now and protect that calf with all antibodies. Won't it? Well, I think it's time to put you in bed. 